Focke Wolf, FW-191 bomber. Three or four aircraft were built under this designation as prototypes to compete with the Junkers Ju-288. The type was a mid-wing monoplane with twin fins and rudders and a marked dihedral on the tailplane. The gasoline tanks were all in the wings. Internal bomb load or torpedo storage is provided. The twin-engine version was intended eventually to have two Junkers Umo 222 engines, but as an interim measure, BMW 801, Daimler-Benz 610, and Daimler-Benz 606 engines were specified. A four-engine version was to have Junkers Umo 211Fs, Daimler-Benz 605s, Daimler-Benz 628s, or Daimler-Benz 601E engines. Drawings show that the armament comprised two MG-81s, forward ventral, one MG-151 dorsal, one MG-151 ventral, and two MG-81s or two MG-131s in the tail of the engine nacelles. The four-engine type wingspan, 85.2 feet, length 64.2 feet with two 3,300-pound torpedoes at 19,686 feet, speed 268 miles per hour, range 995 miles, with four 3,300-pound torpedoes at 19,686 feet, speed 248 miles per hour, range 560 miles, two-engine version, wingspan, 85.2 feet, wing area, 807 square feet, normal weight, 52,000 pounds, overload weight, 55,000 pounds, range with 865 gallons of fuel and a payload of 11,000 pounds, 1,180 miles at 291 miles per hour, speed, 375 miles per hour at 30,800 feet. Service ceiling, 27,200 feet. Rate of climb, 1,320 feet per minute. Falkewolf, Athedid Propelled Fighter, TA-283. This single-seat fighter has a long pointed nose and sharply swept back low wing. The tailplane is swept back at both leading and trailing edges and carries the two atheted units at its extremities. The cockpit is midway along the fuselage and the canopy blends with a large vertical fin. A Walter Bifuel rocket is mounted in the tail end of the fuselage. The narrow track 2.6 feet, main wheels retract vertically into the fuselage, and the nose wheel retracts rearward and upward. Armament consists of two MK-103s, 60 rounds per gun, in the nose. Behind the guns there is a 20 millimeter armor bulkhead, protecting the forward atheted fuel tank of 308 gallons capacity. After the cockpit, there are three additional fuel tanks. One of these contains 211 gallons of athedid fuel, while the other two provide 36 gallons of hydrazine hydrate and 89 gallons of hydrogen peroxide for the rocket motor. Each athedid unit is 8.8 .8 feet long and 4.4 feet in diameter, and develops a maximum of 10,850 horsepower at sea level and 2,270 horsepower at 36,000 feet. The Walter starting rocket gives a thrust of 6,600 pounds. For takeoff and acceleration, the rocket is operated for a period of 33 seconds. This leaves sufficient fuel for a further acceleration, 
in case it's necessary to make another circuit after a faulty landing approach. Span, 26.2 feet. Overall length, 38.9 feet. Wing area, 204 square feet. All up weight, with 5,500 pounds of fuel, 11,880 pounds. Starting run, 550 yards. Time from standing start to beginning of steep climb at 300 feet, 2 minutes. Time to climb from 300 to 36,000 feet, 2 minutes, 18 seconds. Rate of climb at 3,000 feet, 31,500 feet per minute. Maximum speed at sea level, 682 miles per hour. Maximum speed at 36,000 feet, 592 miles per hour. Range at sea level, 143 miles. Range at 36,000 feet, 435 miles. Endurance at sea level, 13 minutes. Endurance at 36,000 feet, 43 minutes. Focke-Wulf FW-300 Designed as a four-engine transport to replace the FW-200, the FW-300 was to be fitted with four Daimler-Benz 603 engines in a line abreast. It was described as an oriental transport. The center section of the low cantilever wing is approximately parallel in cord, but the leading edges of the outer sections are sharply swept back. A pressure cabin was to be fitted. Development was abandoned. Span, 151.5 feet. Wing area, 2,445 square feet. Fuel capacity, 4,300 gallons. Overload flying weight, 104,500 pounds. Maximum range, 5,100 miles. Maximum speed, 327 miles per hour at 19,700 feet. Service ceiling, 31,500 feet. TA-400, FW-300A, Long Range Reconnaissance Bomber. During 1943, the Falkewolf design staff was studying an aircraft designated as the TA-400 or FW-300A. Developed from the FW-300 and primarily intended as a bomber and long-range reconnaissance aircraft, two Junkers Yumo 004 turbojet units were to be mounted behind two of the six engines. A number of firms in France Italy and in Germany were commissioned to design and construct the major components. The main spars are of dural construction. The skin is of dural sheet of 203 millimeter thickness. Dihedral on the outer wing is 4 degrees. Freeze ailerons and split flaps are fitted, each flap being in four sections. Tailplane incidence is adjusted hydraulically. Fuel stowage is distributed amongst 28 tanks, 12 in each wing, and 4 in the fuselage. The fuel tanks and 8 inboard tanks are self-sealing and have provision for jettisoning and purging by inert gas. The undercarriage, consisting of 4 main wheels, retracts forward and upward. Both main undercarriages and tailwheel assembly are of welded steel construction. The bomb bay is nearly 30 feet long and is divided down the center. Span, 137 feet 8 inches. Length, 92.35 feet. Wing area, 1,885 square feet. Aspect ratio, 10.5 to 1. Wing loading, 71.5 pounds per square foot. Maximum fuel load, 5,940 gallons. Maximum bomb load, 22,000 pounds. Maximum all-up weight, 132,000 pounds. 
maximum speed 323 miles per hour range 3100 miles engines 6 BMW 801Ds The Falkenwolf FW191 bomber was originally proposed as part of the Bomber B project and as part of that the specification it was to have a pressurized cabin and all items in the aircraft that were manually or hydraulically actuated were to be electrically driven which did not turn out well very heavy. They also tried an interesting dive flap air brake combination which did not work well it caused problems with fluttering which helped kill this bomber also the TA 400 looked like an awesome bomber to me but with six turning and two burning I think the fuel would be going away awfully fast and fuel was not something they had a lot of there were a lot of airplanes sitting on the ground at the end with no fuel in them did not seem to be a very practical thing as I see it. So anyway, everybody, get back to work. The present tense has been used for convenience in the following contents. However, this does not mean that an aircraft is in existence or that one was ever built.